What is loosely referred to as the pellet size is, in fact, the pellet's diameter, which is determined by physical measurement with a finely calibrated vernier or a ruler. As easy as this sounds, most inexperienced operators' guesses are incorrect. Correspondingly, the thickness of the die ring is one of the most important factors in determining how hard the pellets will be compressed. Users should make reference to the die's thickness for replacement orders if consistent results are desired. Your Agricon die ring comes with a specially designed wear and tear indicator line that makes it easy to gauge the lifespan that is left on the ring. Using the same principle as the tread remaining on a car tire, once the indicator line is no longer visible, the die ring has reached the end of its serviceable life and has no further value other than its weight in scrap metal. Should wear and tear on the die ring look uneven, it's possible that worn rollers have been used or the setting up of the set blocks has been incorrect. For more information, refer to our previous video on how to correctly set up the rollers. In order to be correctly manufactured, pellets must not only be compressed but also bound and sealed. Otherwise, the compressed material simply falls apart when being handled. Effective binding occurs when the heat generated by pressure and friction interacts with the raw material's moisture content in conjunction with the activation of proteins, starches, sugars and oils. As a result, attempting to pelletize feed from a mixture that is not nutritious for animals also negatively impacts the binding process. In such cases, molasses can be used as a natural binding agent, but this is far from ideal and not necessary when quality feeds are used. The measurement of the diameter and thickness of the die ring has a direct relationship on the compaction ratio or how hard the pellets are compressed in the pelletizing process. A 4 by 40 mm pellet, referred to as a 4 mm diameter pellet in the industry, is the result of a 4 mm diameter pellet pressed through a 40 mm die ring hole. In this case, a 10 times compaction ratio has been produced. Depending on your base mixture, Agricon may prescribe anywhere from a 4 to a 15 compaction ratio, but please contact for expert advice on determining an ideal setup for optimum results. Bear in mind that the pelletizing machine itself is the driving mechanism, while the die ring determines pellet quality by relying on the machine to deliver the right speed and friction for pellet production.